Yo, welcome back to the CP Family Gang. Holla at your boys to be back with another video. So, Misfits Gaming came out with a new video, but it's specifically about EMZ. Now, I haven't really gotten too much of EMZ, but but this would be the perfect time to get into EMZ because it's EMZ's story of, as you guys can see right here, EMZ's story. Um, I'm excited to see what's going on with EMZ and see what she has to talk about. Um, you, I mean, like, honestly, uh, in this channel, we haven't really, like, really talked about amz she you know she just popped up out of the blue started hanging out with the boys um dream smp uh started making her content then misfits gaming came out signed tubbo rainbow whole bunch of other people um and yeah so i'm mean, this is the perfect time to get into it um but let's go ahead and get into this video i'm pretty excited to see what's up with amz um but right after the intro bro let's go Before we get started discord down below if you guys want to tune in with me on a personal level i would love for you guys to tune in a lot of you guys have tuned in and i just want to say thank you um also subscribe to the channel also su 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 smash on like button as well too twitch is all that down below as well too if you guys want to go live with me i play with my views if you guys want to play some video games up uh, we can most definitely do that but let's go ahead and get into the video let's go with all Amy. right as always make sure you guys show some love and like the video like i'm doing right now also subscribe to misfits gaming if you guys haven't um also find amz's personal youtube channel also subscribe to her too but let's go ahead and get into the video let's go and amz it's kind of like they're both so similar and they both kind of coexisted with each other okay but now it's like i am amz now Okay, 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 AMZ. Growing up. I like it, I, I like the nickname, background. Which was just AIM. You guys ever seen Matilda? Like the movie Matilda? It gives me Matilda vibes. If you've seen Matilda, let me know. Leave your comments down below. Which name? Um, I tried to do AMZ. Didn't work. So I was like, AMZ, AMZ, let's do that. And that's basically where it came from. And now I'm just AMZ. No, we have a what I'm known for, basically, AMZ, is AMZ. Uh, I like it. And that's basically what I do, like every single day. I just talk to a bunch of people all around the internet and I show them my games. That's oh no, we're not up. dying again, we're not dying again, we're not dying again. If this is your comfort stream, you need real help. <laughs> Going from a very small, small town to now being in Brighton. Obviously, huge change and it's been crazy. England. It's been absolutely crazy and it's just been beautiful though. It's been a good change. You, you guys believe me? What got me to where I am is, honestly, AMZ. I have to say, honestly, my friends, without them, right. I would not be where I am right now. That's what's I owe up. everything to my friends, especially Toby. Everything to him, because basically what happened is That's we met during up. a stream, first time we ever spoke, and then he became my best friend very, very quickly. That's what's up, yeah, trust yeah. Me. I remember those streams, remember the Halloween, Halloween? from the get-go. <laughs> That's when Tubbo was there too. Uh, Tubbo, Rambu, uh, Bilzo, Tommy, like everybody. <laughs> I'm still trying to figure out what that is about me. And that's obviously the energy that I want to put out there. Cause it's, it's always nice to have somebody say to you or just be with you. Right. And uh, they'll be like, I, you're the, like, I just clicked with you really well. Like that's the, the highest tier compliment for me. I think for Amy, one of the reasons that she's really popular is just because she's so authentically herself and you can tell that. I think online a lot of people, you can never fully tell her there's a level of unease of whether they're authentically themselves and her personality just gives you instant <laughs> serotonin, like it's just a fun experience to be around. You don't feel on edge, she's not doing anything to try and be the best at it. So it's just nice because you just feel like you're kind of friends in a room with her. That's what's up. Amy's got like a vibrant personality that I think a lot of people just flock to immediately. Nah, I this is love. I discovered Amy was in like, I fully knew about Amy when we both happened to be in a, a championship MCC Rising, which stands for Minecraft Championship Rising. And since then, just kind of been tuning in and it's always high energy. And so I really appreciate that Amy kind of I took like that. that step in initiating like, hey, we're friends now and this is happening. She's popular because she gets on with everyone. She will try and connect with someone all the time. She's very much a people person. So She's like a mom. sister? Like, I wouldn't think she'd be like that. Yo, they look like what? But she seems to look after people a lot of the time. Um, even when she should be looking after herself. She kind of puts it a lot of them first. Dan, that's what's up, AMZ. For real, that's what's up. The minute you're put in front of a camera, live, you don't have any filter, 
you're just you, it's gonna warrant people who, you know, just those That's people cool. on the internet that wanna kind of put down anything that could seem happy. And I suffered a lot with it. I'm a lesbian, I'm out online. And it was weird because over time, when I've been speaking about my sexuality, there'll always be very weird people that will come into my chat, just Dang. go to all my socials and just weird things, they'll say, say gross things. And I've suffered a lot of hate raids. Um, a hate raid, sadly, is when somebody gets a lot of people to come to your chat and just say the most vile things you can imagine. See, my, this is my question. This, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna seriously ask you guys. What, what, to the people that that does that, I don't get it. Like, what, what do you gain from that? What don't like? What do you seriously gain from that? And I really want <laughs> someone who actually says this stuff to comment below. Like, I really want to understand. Like, dude, what do you gain from it? Like, why don't you just let people be who they are? I don't understand. And what does it matter? <laughs> At the end of the night, what does it matter to you? You know, it's not your life. Like, bro, I don't get it. I really don't. It makes me, it really makes me upset because, like, you know, you have good people out here like Yamsy, you know, like Rambo, like Tubbo, you know. And the only thing that really should matter is their intentions in their hearts. But people are focused way too much about the wrong thing so again what do you gain from doing this i don't get it i remember my address got man leaked, see this is my phone so got weird and i just stopped streaming for like two to three weeks and i remember in that time i was genuinely debating not going back to streaming my way of dealing with all of the hate is genuinely just keeping in mind that these people just want a reaction from me. Mm -hmm. And honestly, I'll either do the thing where I'll like make a joke out of whatever they're saying so that they can't have any power over me. And if I make fun of them, that's quite funny. And that gives me content because it's quite fun. It is hilarious to just make fun of somebody who's trying to put me down. Um, or the other thing is just pretend they're not there, to pretend they don't exist. And just always remind yourself they're all- But I couldn't do it. I have to retaliate. You toxic with me, I'm toxic back, bitch. Like, <laughs> that's just the way it is. But I mean, like, I get it. Everybody's different, but still. Bro, no one should have to go through this. And no one should have to go through this to begin with. Like, honestly, no one should. There's going to be people that don't like you yeah. in the world, and that's okay. It is. Amy being a part of LGBTQ. Amy, Amy, plus, Amy um, has a strong soul. A people feel like a sense of representation in her. Uh, they feel safe in her use of pronouns. They see a lot of themselves perhaps in her. So I think a lot of people can feel like they can belong in that space that she's mm. created. It's definitely a struggle that a lot of people, if you're part of the community, you understand and can feel. And like me, a lot of her audience are members of the community and it's often harder growing up to find someone you can look up to or someone you can relate to. And obviously creating such a safe space is made something special. It was a really weird experience for me going out like, and figuring out my sexuality. Because I knew from when I was age 12, 11 even, that I liked girls. Well, I knew I didn't like boys, and that was scary. Um, but the thing with me is I kept it to myself. And then I remember my first kiss yeah. with a girl was when I was 16, and that scared me really, really badly. I think I had a lot of things I needed to work through, and I didn't tell anybody about how I was feeling. I remember when you came out. I thought you were just more bi. Amy's I mom? Think, I think. Mama? You came out like full lesbian a little bit later on. That was when. I, I think I, I, it, it was a constant struggle between. Do I? Like, I don't know. No. And I came out and it was always like, I knew. I knew. And I was like, I know you knew. But you know, I still have to say formally. <laughs> I thought I say the words and I'm like. I've been struggling with mental health since I was. 11, 13 years right? old. Um, I've been on medication since I was 15. 15? Um, it's something that is a part of me. Like I use medication, you know, to help me every day, same way that somebody would need to wear glasses every day. It's something so simple and it helps me get out of bed and that's all I really need. And I think there's such a negative stigma against mental health, especially in the creator space because there's a lot of pressure that builds up to creators like, oh, it's not a real job. Yeah. Oh, it's like, oh, you just sit in front of a camera. That's, uh, not, that's not hard at all. You think of everything else you're kind of faced with, it's kind of like, oh, this is adding to a lot of this. 
I got a really good relationship with my chat now. When I like, tell stories about like my coming out story, or I tell stories about my mental health, things yeah. that they can relate to. It's always really, really, really nice to just be able to know that me talking about these things has helped at least one person. Medication doesn't stop the bad days, it just makes them more manageable. It's something that I've worked on for a very long time. I'm still working on it. Mental health never really goes away. Right. We just learn to cope with it. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I like that. I like that a lot. I just need to remind myself of the things I used to cope, like journaling, um, music is very, like even going on like a walk just by myself. That's something that kind of helps and also being around people I love. Right. Hello. Can they hear? They can't hear us though, right? Uh, this might have a mic on it. Wally! <laughs> <laughs> Yo, MC. So, we're back in Wales. This is my first time being back in two months. And this is my little sister's room, which is basically the mini-me. Hello, <laughs> little sister. Literally. I remember here is where I was streaming and I hit all the milestones. Um, it's where I got Twitch partner. Um, like, I met my best friends. Like, I met Toby in this room. Wow. Like, on call. Um, so many different things, and it's very weird coming back and That's seeing crazy. the whole change. Because you think when you move away, everyone is still going to be stagnant and everyone's going to stay the same. Then you come back and you realize yeah, that time cool. moves on whether you're there or not. And that's something that's really hard to comprehend and deal with. But it's very weird that this has all changed now. And it's not my room anymore. It's not my home anymore. Oh my mom's my always God. kind of <laughs> let us grow in our own ways. That's what's um, up. It was never a case of restriction. Um, if I'd come home one day, and I'd be like, I want to take up this hobby now. I want to do this now. She'd always try and make that work. I know a lot of parents probably wouldn't have been too accepting to the idea of their child dropping out and then doing stuff on the internet. It's very daunting. Um, Just a little bit. <laughs> but she's open-minded and it's very, very, I'm very fortunate to have her as my mum. Well, I don't push any of them. Eventually they will know what they meant to do and what they want to do. It's, I don't see the point in Pushing, 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 you've got to get your grades, you've got to get this, you've got to get that, unless you know. But my mum done the same with us. Yeah, okay, I still don't know what I'm doing, but still. Never ceases to amaze me, <laughs> always going to be proud of you. <laughs> no. You are just my baby. Like, all the girls are amazing, but this one, I think, is exceeding expectations all the time. I'm the best. I didn't say that. Ah. I'm the best. I didn't say that. You don't rest on me, I'm not a dog. I'm older than you. <laughs> I'm older than you. <laughs> That's right, put her in her place. That when I'm live, put AMZ in her place. You can I'm the oldest one. Good time. Be whoever you are. And a lot of that is my mum's. My mum's bringing has done that to me. Sometimes I, I think back at things I've gone through. Um, and it, it does get difficult, but then I remember I lived through it. And... Like, I've survived every single one of my bad days. Yeah. I'm still standing. There's always going to be ways to cope with those days. And I think that's what's made it very easy for me to yeah, carry on. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Very true. There's genuinely not a bad bone in her body. And I think the fact that she puts her whole heart out there and her whole self out there for everyone she meets and makes you feel instantly, like, welcome and part of the group is, like, a really special thing to have. Yeah. Seeing her going from just her room, just doing these little gaming things to now being quite a big sensation is, is always going to be mind-blowing to me, but I'll always be proud of her. You're just continuing to grow, aren't you? You're just literally always, but the thing is with you is you're always looking to see how you can better other people as well, mm -hmm. which is got massive empathy about mm. it. And that can sometimes be your failing because you care too much. Shadows Dang, Mama knows what's up. Let's go. On the walls again. 15K. I didn't have enough time. To Yo, we're almost at 15K. Let's go. Let's go. We, the channel, the CB Warriors, we're almost at 15K. I'm so excited. Prepare myself for the changes. Dancing with gold. I kind of went in head first. Of the people I've been. This is what I'm doing, and it's amazing. Have they gone and died? But it's still terrifying. Or are they living here? I need some of those. Oh my gosh. Those this can be taken flushes. from me or swept under my feet as fast as I've grown. But it's all about luck and not necessarily luck, but 
I was trying to say what? Hope. I'm very hopeful. This time next year, it's still going to be good. Everything's still going to be good. I'm hoping. I hope. Nah, that was actually really good. Oh, man. Shout out to Amzi. Oh, my gosh. So she's actually, like, you know, um, mentally just going through a lot of stuff. So, uh, well, recently in the past, but just overcame, um, you know. Dang, this is my ringtone. I'm so sorry. My my dancer switched it, and now it's literally this sound. I got to change it back. But anyway, shout out to Amzi. Amzi's doing an extraordinary job, especially like now she's not living with her parents or her mom. I didn't see her dad necessarily, but what's up with her dad? If you guys know, let me know. Leave a comment down below. Um, but no, like uh, moving out to, uh, you know, do Misfits Gaming. Um, she's doing her thing, and she seems like a very charismatic person, which I love um, entirely. Uh, so let me know what you, uh, your thoughts about Amzi. Um, do you guys like Amzi? MC does not like MZ. Let me know. Leave the comments down below. Uh, but also subscribe to the channel and s -s 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 smash on the like button as well too. Um, don't forget Discord. All that down below. Uh, tune in with me. Um, there's exciting things coming to the channel, so you guys do not want to miss out. Um, but if not, that's fine. No worries. Um, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.